can turn the world on with a smile You can take a nothing day And suddenly make it all seem worthwhile But it's a girl and you should know it Each words and every little movement you show it Love is all around, don't no need to fake it You can never it down, why don't you take it? You're gonna make it after long Hi everybody, welcome to the show. Today is Wednesday, July 18th, and I'm doing my show a day early because tomorrow, on Thursday, I'm flying home to Kamloops, my hometown, to stay with my parents for a few days and do my driving test on Monday. So hopefully I get my license. Uh, I really hope I can do that because it's going to help a lot for visiting Mark and being able to see him and just being able to do a lot more. So. That's my plan, and I'm going to be doing the draw a day early, so I've got a lot of entries to get to at the end of the show. But first, an update on Mark. He has 720 days left to go in his U.S. federal prison sentence. and We hope that maybe he'll be home earlier than that. Maybe he could come home next year if he gets transferred. We just need the support of the U.S. and Canadian federal governments, and that means we need your support to help them uh, advocate for him to get home. So I'll be letting you know more about that in the months to come ahead. But until July 9th, 2014, that's his early release date. That's how long he expects to serve unless he gets transferred early. So uh, we're on the downhill slide and we're looking forward to him coming home, of course. And I just posted a new blog by him. He wrote about his band and their most recent concert. So you can see the playlist. It's pretty impressive when I hear these songs uh, on the radio or at home and I think, wow, Mark can actually play the bass to that song and actually have a band that's performing. So Mark's interested in seeing if anyone wants a Yazoo t-shirt with the uh, poster design from, by Gary Wintle. So check out Mark's blog for more about that and a lot of other updates, including this interesting information. So one of our lawyers put in a freedom of information request with the Department of State, the FBI, the DEA, the Bureau of Prisons, um, everybody basically in the federal government in the U.S. to ask about Mark Emery and what files they might have that resulted in him not getting transferred last year. He met all the criteria and we had 20 someone support from elected officials, 23 I think it was, every level of government said that they would endorse him being transferred home but he still didn't get approved by the U.S. federal government. So our lawyer asked for info, and the DEA at first said, we, we have too much stuff, we couldn't give it to you. We're going to have to go a little deeper and take a little longer to get you anything. So we did get a bunch of documents back, 66 pages or so. But the most interesting I found were two pages. And, you know, most people who know about Mark's history know that he funded the marijuana movement with millions of dollars, gave all the money generated from the seed sales away to activist groups, activist causes, organizations around the world, and that's why he was targeted. And the DEA has some files. You can see these in Mark's latest blog. So go to freemark.ca and cannabisculture.com, and the blog that says, DEA admitted all my seed money went to activism, you can look at these two files. The first one has the San Francisco Field Division in coordination with the Blaine Resident Office is investigating Mark Emery. At the request of Blaine RO, SFFD has conducted an analysis of Western Union wire transfers sent by Emery from April 5, 1999 until April 5, 2004. In total, $753,712.14 was transferred by Emory through Western Union Financial Services. This financial analysis revealed that Emory distributed this money to candidates for elections in the United States, Canada, Australia, and other countries. This report of investigation details the significant websites and email accounts documented in cables, blah, blah, blah. Point being, the DEA says, well, all the Western Union money that he sent through Western Union, that's not including the cash and the checks and the credit cards and the rest of the millions, but Western Union for that period of time uh, said that he sent that much to political campaigns and efforts. And the second page says, in a recent editor's page piece, Emery and assistant editor Gies Ramsey, that's me, <laughs> boasts that, quote, my Emory's organizations, including Cannabis Culture, have contributed over $2 million towards court battles, ballot initiatives, jailed individuals, rallies, conferences, marches, and elections, all involving cannabis or the drug war, end quote. It goes on to state, quote, 
There is virtually no drug reform group or organization in North America that has not received some assistance from us, end quote. Those are Mark's words. And the DEA says, these sentiments are confirmed by the investigation conducted by the San Francisco Field Division into the numerous Western Union wire transfers initiated by Mark Emery to many marijuana political activists around the world. So there you have them saying, yeah, we know that at least $2 million did go to political activists. So Mark is a political prisoner. That's been obvious to most people who knew the story from the beginning. And he's serving his time and he's going to come home and people know that this is unjust, just as all impris imprisonments for the drug war um, are unjust. So we're still working hard to change that every single day. And you've got evil companies that we're up against, like Geo Group. Now, Geo Group, if you remember, was where Mark stayed in a prison in Georgia by Geo Group. And they're an awful private prison company that violates rights. They get shut down in different states. And in fact, they just recently stopped operating at the state level in Mississippi because of violations of rights and they've decided to come to Canada instead. Our federal government has been having meetings. It's been reported on by The Guardian, the UK press, not in Canada, but everybody else knows that Geo Group is coming to Canada to run prisons here under the new enhanced drug war under Harper's conservative government. So we've got some dangerous stuff ahead, but Mark blogged about that and you can read about it. Uh, by going to, of course, his blogs and CannabisCulture.com and you can find all those old blogs. So now I'm going to do the vaporizer draw. This is a Vapor Genie vaporizer pipe. You open it up and you just use a lighter there, but it makes it into vapor. So the draw for this had a lot of entries, almost 100 people entered for this. And that was by sending an email to Jody at CannabisCulture.com. So in the big blue bubble bag, I have all these Oh, it's Mark calling, actually. <laughs> Hello? Hi, sweetie pie. I'm, I'm just in the middle of filming my show. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Um, yeah, I mean, the camera's still running, but I'm just about to do my draw. Well, and Mark, well they, they can know Mark's calling right now and I've got the, the draw with the big bubble bag with a bunch of names in it for people who want to win the Vapor Genie vaporizer. <laughs> Alright, Mark's picking a winner and the winner Mark is picking, sending his vibes of energy is... <laughs> ah, let's just grab one. Okay, one of them right here. It's going to be D. Brazi. Love you. Love your show. Pick me. Well, all right, you're the winner. I'm going to send you a blue Vapor Genie vaporizer pipe from Cannabis Culture Headquarters Store, as well as, of course, the four Freemark stickers and the Freemark button. And a Yazoo Band poster. We're going to throw in a Yazoo Band poster for you, too. <laughs> And Mark's doing really well learning Enter Sandman by Metallica. So, of course, as I said earlier in the show, you can go uh, to the blog and read Mark's uh, latest blog, which is online at freemark.ca and cannabisculture.com. And for next week's show, because people are going to enter tonight and tomorrow thinking my draw is tomorrow, but I'm leaving a day early, you can enter for next week's where we're going to give away another Vapor Genie vaporizer pipe. This one is a natural wood color. So send an email to Jody at CannabisCulture.com and I will enter you in the draw to win that and the free mark stickers and button. And uh, thanks for tuning into the show. <laughs> and that's right, Monday is our wedding anniversary, our six year wedding anniversary. I can't believe I forgot that. And Mark has a card on the way that I can show everybody that he helped make. So next week's show is going to be very exciting. And of course, uh, <laughs> I hope you all tune in. Um, I'm going to... Okay, bye, sweetheart. I love you. I'll talk to you later tonight. Okay, bye. Okay, so there's a call from Mark. And uh, he's just checking in to say I love you, he said. So there you have it. That's really sweet. What a unique show out of all the times I've done this every week for well over a year he's never called in the middle of the show so there you go we're gonna use that that's the plan and uh, I have the winner and you know how to enter for next week and I hope you'll always check out the front page cannabisculture.com and pot.tv our websites got updated they're fresh they're new exciting lots of content being uploaded so be sure to subscribe and check it out and I'll see you all next week free Mark Emery